daughter's been sick. I was sick for 33 days, had COVID. Came back from the dead, it felt like. Anyways, um, I got a cool new book. And I think I'm gonna start sharing some stuff with you from this book. One of the authors, when I first started out on this path um, that was brought to my attention was Emmett Fox. Um, along the lines of like Marianne Williamson and um, Deepak Chopra and Wayne Dyer. I mean, there's tons of varieties out there and everyone's basically saying the same thing but in their own words, and it's filtered through their own experience. And um, yeah, this is uh, something that's brought to my attention again by uh, a recovery podcaster, uh, Recovery Radio, <clears throat> Mr. Clay Feets. <laughs> that's his alias. Anyways, around the year with Emmett Fox. You guys ready? Today's date, February 16th. Freedom in forgiveness. If ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. And that's a biblical reference from the book of Matthew at 6 14. Here we go. Setting others free means setting yourself free. Because resentment is really a form of attachment, it is a cosmic truth. Uh, it's a cosmic truth that takes two to make a prisoner, a prisoner and a jailer. There's no such thing as being a prisoner on one's own account. Moreover, the jailer is as much as a prisoner as his charge. <clears throat> when you hold resentment against anyone, you're bound to that person by a mental chain. You're tied by a cosmic tie to the thing that you hate. The one person, perhaps in the whole world, whom you most dislike is the one whom you are attaching yourself by hook that is stronger than steel. Is this what that you uh, is this what you wish? Is this the condition in which you desire to go on living? Not me. Remember, you belong to the thing with which you are linked in thought. At some time or other, if that tie endures. The object of your resentment will be drawn again into your life, perhaps to work further havoc. No one can afford such a thing. And so you must cut all such ties by a clear act of forgiveness. You must lose him and let him go. By forgiveness, you set yourself free. You save your soul. And because the law of love works alike for one and all, you help to save his soul too. That's kind of speaking of the unity of it all. <clears throat> uh, I hate to admit it. Um, it's been my experience. Um, I started out, so I'll be 40 next month. And I started out on this journey of wellness, uh, experimental growth, and uh, behavior change. <laughs> around 19. I remember my first sort of kick of the can was with like a, a Tony Robbins um, thing. And um, more truth and inspiration has come my way. But the idea of like attachment is just like so gross. And as a really sensitive, uh, sensitive addict slash alcoholic slash highly sensitive person, I find that like I do not have any other choice but to let these people go. I've done lots of sets of steps <clears throat> and they're really effective. Uh, but I've always found over the years that I have to continually um, reflect over scars that really traumatized me when I was younger and individuals that really left a deep hurt inside of me and a deep hate and it lingers even after oh man so many years uh, they have to be they, they surface up they bubble up at such weird odd times 
where that comes in dreams and then ignites a fire within of feeling dishonored or hurt and wanting retribution, wanting payback for that hurt. And um, it just it's just like me cutting again if I don't let go of that thought. So yeah, it's just another great reminder from something that's not um, recovery based and it's although it does reference the Bible and um, Emmett Fox in his writing it's another reminder of the clause in which resentment can leave within us so I just it's a beautiful day outside here in Winnipeg and uh, I've got new fun glasses which you can probably see my daughter's sleeping if you're wondering why my voice is not very well pronounced and um, yeah, I just like to let this serve as a reminder for you in these one little one take videos um, hopefully some of my own experience can help resonate within you so you can be free you know I, I hate having to let go again it's almost like I'm, I'm feeling entitled after all these years to get the scales balanced you know, if this is continually hurting me, I want to find a different methodology of dissolving this pain. <clears throat> Violence comes up. Scheming plots come up to deal with this resentment instead of just uh, utilizing tools that have been repeated through various religions and hundreds and thousands of years. And letting go. Moving on, recognizing the only my my own imperfection. You know, sometimes you can use like the intuitive thought of prayer, one-sided dialogues with these individuals to help let it go. If if you're finding inventories don't work, the connection with the hand and the heart can be broken. Um, and that's okay too. Some people need to talk about it. That's okay. The idea is just. It's not going to go away without being addressed again, unfortunately. It doesn't just dissolve back into the ethers in which it bubbled up from again. I don't know why it's reminding us to look at uh, it again or, or where that even comes from. And the point is not to suffer or linger any more than you need. You are loved. I wish you a wonderful day. And that's it. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.